Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting paid as a developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how long do you have to be a programmer before you get paid well? I don't know. What do you mean by how to get paid well? Because I mean, if 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 you ask my friend who has worked most of his life as a well as a dishwasher repairman, I think, or something like that, then I was paid well since my first day on the job, like my absolute, like literally right out of, out of college, I was paid well by his standards. If you compare that salary to my friend who owns his own business, I got I started getting paid well after a few years uh, because now I like sort of earn the same amount of money that he does, even though he he will probably at some point uh, die from a heart attack or have mental issues due to being so overworked because running a business can be really really tough. Uh, so, the thing is, I, th I don't really understand why there is a hefty amount of people who continuously ask me about the money in IT and like how are you, when do I get paid well and like how much is it and so forth. Guys, if you want to know how much you're going to earn from being a software developer, there are so many ways for you to figure that out. Literally. Like, uh, first thing, uh, first and easiest thing is, go to the job postings every like there's uh, quite a few job postings will say like the salary range that you can expect and then you can do a little google you can google and you can see what the average salaries are and then you can decide for yourself if that means that you're paid well or not on average a software developer even as a junior you're going to be paid you're you're not gonna be pay, like, as a junior software developer. Like I still remember, as I was saying, like when I first started, I was making a salary that is it was above it was a, f a f uh, it was slightly above working at any. Like, I I'm not saying a fast food joint, but not that different. Like uh, or working as a store clerk or something like that. It wasn't all that much more. There was a, absolutely there was more. But it wasn't one of the most well-paid things I've ever done, uh, or rather, that was within the range of things that I could have been doing. However, it was—I mean, for most of my co uh, friends and family who do not work at, like, who doesn't have like a higher education or something like that, where they kind of just like they went immediately into the workforce instead of continuing their education, like they are like, uh, I think one dude. It was many. I guess still. I mean, uh, if he has a if he has a good month, he's still gonna out earn me even today, uh, even after years of working. He works as a security guard. Now he's gonna out earn me, but in order for him to out earn me, he needs to get all his shifts, and work night time. And ideally, of course, working holidays or something like that, where he gets paid even more. And sure, in uh, I. Uh, uh, that that's great. Like if that's what if you want to make a lot of money, you can do that. I mean, shit. If you wanted to make more money than a software developer right here, right now, don't then go and work on an oil rig, or something like. Like there's ways for you to make so much money. It's really down to what are the trade-offs of all of this. And that's the thing about so software development that you literally like. It, it, it's really hard to get to a point where you're a stable software developer. But once you get there, it is a very cozy job. It's not going to be the most well-paid job, and it's not going to be the most way pay way by, by a long shot. Uh, but it does bring a lot of perks. You have usually, depending on, well, of course, you can be overworked and so forth. You can work on fairly normal office hours, unless, as I said, you're in a situation where that's not the case. Uh, and you don't have to work unless you're on call or like if you're working in ops or something like that uh, you you have a fairly standard work life for most people working in an office or anything like that and it's fairly stimulating work and so forth and the pay is good but it's not going to be 
you're, you're not going to make more than someone I don't know who is like a successful business owner or something like that. And like if you if they really are a, like if their company is doing really really well, and as I said, like there are high risk professions or there are other jobs that w- where you will make even more. I mean, if shit go into law, if you want to have the potential of you earning even more and still having like office hours and stuff like that, so. I would say that before you get paid well, your your income as a software developer, like where you will start to see that it's gonna start to level out, where you're probably gonna earn as much as you're gonna earn, it's re- it's it's hard to say because you can renegotiate your salaries if you job hop and if you do other sorts of things, but you're not going to be like able to endlessly earn more and more money. And it very much depends on also where you are in your career and where you are in the world. Like what region do you find yourself in? If you're in a third world country, you I mean you're not gonna be able to earn all that much more because like their their needs for IT experience might be lower than if you're in the West or like in the US or wherever you are. So it's really much depends. So what I think that you should really think about is that when you get paid the most, quote unquote, well, it's the same for practically any profession. If we're excluding, of course, things such as where, I don't know, you could in theory just make more and more money depending on how hungry you actually are, if you're like an investor or something like that. But for since this is a fairly standard job type of thing, it's gonna level out for you after well, you're going to reach the peak after 5, 10, 15 years, something like that. That's where you're at the range, where you're going to find where like the bulk of like roughly, roughly where you're going to land in time, in salary. So you have to ask yourself if it's worth it. Because, yeah, sure, the money is pretty good, but it's not the best that it can be. And you're going to work quite hard to get it not as much as you would I mean it's not like you're gonna have to risk your life to get it as in some professions and it's not like you're going to have to work nights or be be, you live a life where you really do have to live for your profession necessarily to get that sort of money but you should be aware of that there is no such thing as a free lunch and being paid well as a software developer it is going to take a few years and not it's not just going to be down to the fact that hey you know how to learn learn and write some code you actually have to be pretty good at it as well so what I want you to take away from this is that I can't really tell you how long it will take you to get paid well as a software developer because it's like it's such an open question that I don't even know how to properly answer it what I can tell you is that you can make a good living from software development, but it very, there's a lot of if and buts. It's like asking, how do I get into shape? Well, it depends, because it always depends. And with software development, it's no different. You can get paid freely, depending on how you define it, you get paid really well on your first job, or you may not, because there are many professions that you can where you can earn more money than as a software developer, quite a lot of professions. And in some cases, uh, you're never going to be able to out earn what somebody else makes. It really is up to to you to decide if the effort that you have to put into becoming a software developer is worth the pay. And if you want to figure that out, go and look at the job postings and the sort of salaries that they are offering. You can even go and Google. There are statistics of what the software developers are earning on average and so forth. There are many numbers that you could look up and see, is this the thing that you want to look at? thing that I should tell you about it yeah, see, that the thing that I should tell you, which is, I think, very important, is that it doesn't really matter so much where, like, what that number is, unless you understand the cost of getting there. That's the thing. It's like um, it, it, what I'm saying is that an average business owner who might be earning quite more than you could possibly earn, uh, they w- you will look at what they are getting in term of re- in terms of salary now. What you don't think about is all the years it took for them and all the risk and all the late hours they had to work to build up their business to a point where they're making that sort of money. That's the thing that you really have to th- have to think about. It's the same thing with our software developers. We are getting paid a certain amount of money, but there is a lot of work 
to get that sort of money. Because if it was easy, then shit, everybody would be a software developer. Not for a lack of trying, but not everybody is one. Because it's not something that you just do like that, and then you're getting paid the biggest bucks. You look, you're looking at an investment of at least 5 to 15 years if you're going to try to figure out where your cap is in a very generalized, uh, this is a very generalized statement, but that is roughly the sort of time that you're going to look at before you're making the bigger, the bigger money. And you're still not going to be able to out earn uh, all the other potential ways that you can try to maximize your income. So it's really up to you to do the research here and figure out what is paid well to you. What is a lot of money to you? I don't know. Have a great day.